Murphy's mom, and Murphy's taking a nap again. I'll show you. Here's my girl. Right? You just want a nap. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. If you're new here, I do around the house videos. Basically, I have clutter, so I'm always decluttering. I do cleaning videos, recipes, reviews, the occasional DIY craft project, and so much more. Today, I'm going to share with you my final deep clean for 2022. I've been working on this deep clean for a year now. I thought I would be done with my house, but I'm not. I'm getting there. I am halfway through my kitchen now. I was able to do a couple of deep cleans the other day but I did not have time to do an introduction or anything like that, so I figured I'd do it now. I don't know about you, but this time of year, I'm lucky I get anything done, and that's why this is the final one for this year, because from now until the new year, I'm, I'm going with everything but doing deep clean projects. I'll start again in the new year. So today, I'm going to do my cutlery drawer, my dishwasher, and my sink. They're the last lower cabinets that need to be done in this area so I want to get them done and out of the way. It took me two days to do three little cabinets and I'm only doing my cutlery cabinet, my dishwasher and the sink which are three little cabinets and it took me two days to do these things because I didn't have a large block of time. I started with my dishwasher. Because it's the holiday season and I don't have extra time, my focus is on doing my routines. I just try to get them done. I have my daily routines and my weekly routines. One of my weekly routines is to tidy up the kitchen once a week. I go through and I clean out the refrigerator, I clean the microwave, things like that. So I figured I could squeeze in cleaning the dishwasher because I hadn't cleaned the inside of the dishwasher in ages. So I figured it really needed it. The first thing I had to do was empty my dishwasher because I had so much stuff in there. <laughs> I had dishes in there and I couldn't clean it. Then I took out my filter. Now, I do clean this once in a while. I know I should be cleaning it more because it didn't look that clean, but it's better than my old dishwasher. That thing was over 20 years old and I didn't even know there was a filter on it that could come out. Evidently it was buried in the back and it was hard to reach. I don't remember ever cleaning that. So I do try to clean this once in a while just to make sure things don't smell and the dishwasher runs much better. I decided to try these finish dishwasher cleaning tablets. You're supposed to be able to use them when you do a regular load, but I didn't feel comfortable doing that. So I just put in a couple of things that I wanted cleaned, but I wasn't going to eat off of. So I put in my strainers and some candlesticks and the filters for my cooktop fan. That's all I put in there. I ran it with, as a, I ran them as a regular load with dish soap and the pod in there. And I have to say, it came out pretty clean. I, I I even checked the little holes on the spinny things that are in there, the technical name for them. And they were, they were pretty clean, so I was happy with that. And I have to say, it didn't take that long to get the dishwasher done, but it was something I had to do and I kept putting it off because I really hate taking that drain, drain thingy out of there. And I was able to get it done while I was doing the kitchen. So I was able to check it off my list, but still not take too much extra time to do it. The next day is when I finally got to the other two cabinets. I have gone through these two cabinets before, so I wasn't expecting them to take too long. And honestly, they didn't, but I just had to make a little time for them. So I started with my cutlery cabinet. The top drawer is where I keep my knives, forks, spoons, drawers, can openers, jar openers, things like that. The middle drawer is where I keep my hot and cold travel mugs. And the bottom drawer is where I keep my tablecloths, napkins, and other linens I need around the house. I have gone through this drawer a few times. I did it a couple of years ago, and I've been very mindful of what I put back in this drawer. So there wasn't a lot of decluttering. It just needed a good clean out. That's all it really needed. And that's all I did this time. I just cleaned everything out. I did get rid of a couple things, but honestly, there weren't that many, so I didn't even bother to film them.
this is what I ended up with. You don't see much of a change in here because I didn't have much to get rid of because I had decluttered this space before. I did get rid of, a, uh, I think, one or two cups and a few tablecloths, and that was it. It's a little neater, a little tidier, but it's also cleaner, and that's what's important. That cabinet didn't take too long to declutter. It, I had decluttered it recently, so I wasn't too bothered about what was in there because I had gotten rid of most of the junk a while ago. But it's always good to go back in every once in a while and make sure you haven't added surprise junk, junk in there because I can do that very easily. I then finally finished my sink cabinet. It was the one that needed the most work. I tend to put things in there quickly. I'm not always careful about what I put back. Sometimes I buy things that I don't use that often or shouldn't buy in the first place. So it was good for me to go through there because that probably had the most stuff in it that I didn't need. As you can see, this one needed the most tidying up. I'm not always careful when I put things back. I bought a couple extra cleaning supplies that I just shoved in there and it, it, it just was be starting to become a mess. It wasn't as bad as it was a few years ago, but it is not in the best shape right now. So it was good to get in there and clean everything out and sort everything out and see what I had because I wasn't even sure what I had in there. <laughs> okay. The funny part of this is I was thinking of saving that shelf paper. I was going to clean it and keep it in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I took it out and I gave the inside of the cabinet a good wipe down. I decluttered this cabinet maybe a year or so ago. So that was probably the last time I cleaned in here. So I wiped everything down, even the pipe, because that can get really dirty and gross. And when you're going to find something in there and see a gross pipe, is, it's just not fun. So I cleaned the inside and the outside of the cabinet just so it looked better. was waiting for the sink cabinets dry I sorted through my cleaners that I keep under the sink these are my go-to cleaners the ones I use the most some of them were really good and some of them yeah they they were there longer than they should have been I got rid of a few not too many but just enough to make a bit of a difference in there after I sorted through everything I cleaned the bin that I hold everything in I really don't like this bin. I've had it for a long time. I had to cut a notch out of the top of it to get it to fit. I just It just doesn't function well for me. I know I need to look for a different bin to go under there, but right now I really do not even have the time to think about that. So I'm just going to clean it up the best I can and put it back and use it. And I'll use it until I find something else. It, it's good enough for now. When I was putting everything back, I was trying to be very mindful that I was putting things back in a place that I would think to grab for them. Because sometimes, especially in this bin, things get a little lost and I forget I have them. So I open another one or I go buy an extra one that I really don't need. So I wanted to be careful with that. For me, putting everything back where it belongs is the best way to keep this cabinet neat and tidy. After everything was sorted, I did a little struggle <laughs> with the shelf liner. I am not good at putting this back in. It, <laughs> let me tell you, this was not Pinterest perfect. It was good enough so I wouldn't have to worry about spills rotting the wood. I had a spill in there once and it made stains on the wood and I just don't want to destroy the cabinet. <laughs> can't see too much of a difference in here but it's a lot neater I can find things easier and it, it, it functions better 
And those little projects took two days to get done because I didn't have a big block of time, but I got them done. So I'm really happy about that. Slow and steady is helping me win the race, I think. I don't know. I hope you found this video motivational. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button. If you'd like more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'm Murphy's mom. Murphy wants to go for WALK right now. So bye for now. There's my girl. Bye for now.